Here you can see a query that uses multiple set operators here. All three queries have a couple of things that we've learned about. They have two columns in those queries, which are like data. They also have aliasing only at the top, and the order by is ordering by a number only at the bottom. But there's an order of precedence. When you have multiple set operators, union is evaluated first, and then intersect is second, and then accept or minus is third. But we can change that with parentheses. Here we again have a group of set operators. And remember, the natural order of precedence is unions first, intersect is second, and acceptor minus is third. But I've put a series of parentheses in here. Your mission, if you decide to accept it, is to tell me which one of these set operators is evaluated first, second, and third. There's no parentheses in front of the first select, but there is a parentheses after the union all in front of that second select. And there's also a parentheses after the minus in front of that select. But at the very end, there are two parentheses to close this out. So the minus will run first, the intersect will be evaluated second, and then lastly will be the first select. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.